Hey everyone, good morning, it's Sarah, and this is Finn. This is my friend, the Great Pyrenees Finn. He's also my neighbor, he lives down the street. Um, he's here for his bee shed treatment and tidy up. He's got quite a bit of hair, we try to get rid of it. And um, he's a little nervous right now because I think he knows what's about to happen and he doesn't really like it, but see if you can see his whole body here. He's got a lot of undercoat to go. Hey buddy. So he's on the floor because um, my stairs broke. I had a set of stairs that go up to my grooming table and the dogs can just walk up the stairs. Well, it was probably not one of the better made ones. It was plastic and um, it held up okay for a while. I had it for a few months and some big dogs used it and then it might have been my dog that broke it. I'm not sure, but one of the things broke that held it together. So then it just kind of like Thankfully, we discovered that after my son tried to sit on it and fell on the floor, not a dog, but anyway. So we don't have stairs and he's really heavy and I'm gonna have to have my son help me lift him onto the table. It's not far. He might even be able to jump up there himself, but for right now, we're just gonna sit on the floor. Um, I figure I don't need to lift him more than I don't than I need to. So um, we're just gonna start with his pads and feet and nails and just do it on the floor and then um, I'll take him straight into the bath, which is just a step in. We don't have to lift him for that either. And then we'll come back. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and get started. Say hi, Finny. He's such a cute doggy. Hi, oh, hi. He's so sweet. Hi. We've been hanging out a little bit here too, because it's been a while. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, everybody, we're here. With Mr. Finn Finn. Hey, what do you think, huh? Um, so I have him on the floor here and he's tethered actually to my elliptical machine because that's what I did last time and it was heavy enough to hold him from walking around. And he's not like, you know, super jumpy or finicky or anything like that, but he does move around just like avoid me and just move somewhere else and not hold still. <laughs> so we gotta do this just to hold him still so he'll stand here and let me brush him. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to brush him and trim his pads. <sighs> what do you think, buddy? Trim his pads and feet probably um, and cut his nails, clip his nails. And then we will go into the bath. Actually, he does need some more trimming than that. She wants some like belly and hiney stuff and of course his furry Frodo feet to be cleaned up. Hi, buddy. Hi. Yeah. So, um, we'll just probably do this as much as we can here and then go take the bath. And then we come back for the blow dry. Um, I'll end up getting him, heft him up on the table and then we'll work from there. Cause it's just a lot easier on my back. Um, when he's on the table. So, but yeah, he's got quite a lot of hair and apparently he's got some matting behind his ears. And hopefully not a lot of manning anywhere else other than maybe his hiney area. But this guy has got a lot of hair. It's been a few months, I think. She wanted to get him in sooner, but I was booked out. So she had to wait like probably a month or more to get him in even. So poor guy's been waiting for me. And thankfully we had a cancellation recently, just one. So I was able to bump a few people up. So he came in about five days early, earlier than what we had originally had him on the calendar for. But, good boy. And this, just me sitting, actually isn't too bad on my back either. So sitting on the floor is okay. Let me see if I can get these mats out. Since he has so much hair, um, there we go. I can just cut the mats out without it even really leaving a choppy dent or anything. Yeah, he's got some mats in here. Get that one out. Try to just try to go through the mat first and then I can maybe see like how bad it is or how close to the skin it is. And then I'm just kind of pick through it with the scissors. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. And there's one down here. Well, you can see what I'm doing. Okay, here. Yeah, that one's pretty close to the skin as well. So Finn lives down the street from me. He's my neighbor. And I forget how his mom started coming to me. I think we just met once and talked and I told her I was a groomer and she was like, oh, can I bring my dogs to you? 
But I think I had seen her dogs before, either walking or just around. This one's really close. I'm trying to go through. There we go, through this way. Come on, there we go. What do you think, huh? Was that a loud sound? Yeah? Okay, go this way. A good tip for if you're cutting mats out yourself is to all, if you're using sh sharp pointy ones, always know where the end, where the tip of your scissors are. Look for them, make sure they're not poking in somewhere you can't see the end of it before you snip, um, just in case they're accidentally grabbing some skin or something somewhere. So you wanna make sure I see that, the end of it. And also I don't, I don't usually cut this way against the skin, like I'll do this. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'll do this and cut instead of like along in case I catch a little piece of skin. I don't wanna do that. I'll go like this and then cut this way. I'll weasel it in right above the skin and then always look for wherever the tip of the scissors are before you cut. Hi, hi sweet boy. Are you shaking? Are you shaking my hand? He's giving me his paw because he doesn't like it. This guy, it's, it's a process here. He's, I don't blame him for not loving it. I mean, he's got a lot of hair and he's got a, you know, dogs don't like baths. This is not a fun experience for them, but I try to make it nice and calming and comfortable for them. I really do. And I give them lots of loves. So even if they have to be here for hours and hours and they don't like it, at least it's not a whole, a fully terrible experience. <laughs> Cause I'm a dog person, I love dogs and I don't wanna see them suffer or be uncomfortable and they don't really understand everything that's going on. So we try to accommodate. <clears throat> yeah, there's a couple back here. Sorry, I'm giving a big shout out and plug to my Bowflex Max Trainer. Lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of, like, plugs for my sponsor. They're not, we're not sponsored. We just bought this one a while ago. And we like it, so. I'm gonna leave that side for later and I, I'll turn them around in a little bit. But for right now, I'm just gonna get started. <laughs> Buzzing his pads. <laughs> Yes, I know, buddy. I know. Okay. Can you have your foot? Okay. And he's on a nice little pad here. It's a mat. It's kind of nice for his feet. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Ben. Good boy, Finn. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, buddy. No, nope. let's do You wanna look outside? You can look outside. That's okay. That's okay. You can look outside. Alright, let's go this way. Nope, nope, you're okay. Can't go anywhere, bud. Can't go anywhere. I can't tell if you guys can see this or not. I'm moving my my preview phone over here. <laughs> it keeps migrating farther and farther away from me. I'm sorry. I know you don't like this part. I know. It's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. You're all right. It's not hurting you. It's not hurting. Nope. Okay. Move your face. I know. Shh. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. We just gotta get it done, bro. Just gotta get it done and over with, okay? No, 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 okay. <laughs> oh, you got out of your loop. You sneaky little guy. You did, you got out of it. It's probably my fault. <laughs> Thankfully, you don't run away. 
You don't run away in the face of adversity. You just kind of sneakily move away <laughs> slowly and then sit down right next to me. I know. He's like, he's nervous a little bit. Not nervous necessarily, just anticipating, you know, what's coming and he doesn't like it. All right, we'll try this again. We'll try this again, maybe get it a little bit tighter this time so you can't sneak out of it. They have so much fur on their necks, you know, it's hard to know like how tight you need to make it. Can you come this way? Come this way. Come on, up. There we go. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, good boy. And this thing does like slide it down the pole here, so. He's gonna be able to be a little bit mobile, but not too mobile, hopefully. Okay, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Good boy, Finn. Good boy. It's okay. Good boy, buddy. All right, we're almost done. Dirty hairs in there. I think they're like caked with mud. So I'll get those. Get those out of there. All right. All right. Okay. It's all right. Okay. That's pretty good. While I have his paw here, hopefully he'll let me continue to hold it. I'm going to trim his nails. It's okay. Yeah, he doesn't love this. I think there's. Oh, there's dirt kicked in there. Yeah, there is. Don't don't you get out of that. Don't you get out of that. No, no. Put your face over this way. Okay, you need to move forward a little bit. There we go. Okay. Maybe we can do it while you're standing up. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Let's just make it easier on ourselves. Okay, good boy. Yeah, I just got like... Caked mud in there. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Good boy, Finn. No, no, I got you. I got you, buddy. I got you, buddy. Good boy. And he's one of these awesome dogs that has dew claws on their front feet and their back feet. Not super long. Okay, good boy. We did it. That wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. That was just one foot. All right, I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse so we can finish up this guy's buzzing his feet, trimming his feet up, clipping his nails, and brushing him out. And that could probably take an hour, <laughs> maybe give or take. <laughs> so, and then getting the few mats that he has kind of just cut out so anyway we'll see you in a little bit
ready. We're here in the shower. Took a little coaxing, but he did it. He actually walked in here in his own, and I even got him with a treat, but he ate half of it, and now he doesn't want the other half. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think he just knows what this means. It means a bath. All right, so really quickly, I'm gonna just go over what I'm gonna use on him. Um, I groom squeaky clean for the first shampoo, and then I have several bottles made up of Ferminator de-shedding shampoo and conditioner. Then I have a moisturizing conditioner by Hydra, as well as the Flush Thermoactive Mask. And I'm just gonna kind of concentrate this in certain areas, like maybe like right here and in here, um, maybe a little in there, just the areas that like need the most dematting, deep conditioning. Um, and I have my comb here so I can comb through the conditioner, through the hair while it's sitting on it. And then I've got ear wash, so. Anyway, we'll go ahead and get started so this guy doesn't have to wait for me much longer. It's okay, Finn. You're a good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. Let's get this over with. We are done with the bath, thankfully. Oh my gosh. So my battery died in the middle of the bath. I think I had gotten both shampoos done and I was about to do the conditioner. Uh, the first of three conditioners. <laughs> um, uh, and then my battery died and I was just like, I'm just gonna finish. I think you guys got the gist of everything that I was doing. Sorry, this is um, Ultra Dematting and Finishing Spray. It's a deep conditioner, detangling, dematting. And we're gonna need that, so I'm gonna spray this generously all over his coat. Um, so I think I was in there for like another hour at least um, after my battery died, so whatever you guys saw was a lot more than that, um, but I think you got the general idea of how I do it. I mean, I, I'm i pretty thorough and I'm very generous with the products that I use as well. Um, I make sure it gets in everywhere, down to the skin, and it's massaged in really good. And then I'm also very careful to rinse, double rinse, triple rinse, make sure that I get all the product out of the coat and skin as much as possible. Um, so I did a, I did the Ferminator um, de-shedding conditioner after that, from what you saw. Um, can you stand up? Stand up. And go. <laughs> He's like done with me, poor guy. I just put some matting in here. Um, and then, oh, and he's dirty because I let him go outside and go potty. 
and it's raining and muddy out. Hey buddy, good boy, yeah. If I can get this in there really good and can let it sit and soak while I blow dry him. So he's got some redness here. That's because the mats were like literally right on top of the skin and I had to pull and yank a little bit to get them out without cutting him. So I'll have to let his mom know, but I might shave that area down a little bit more too so that it doesn't get bad again. Anyway, um, then I use a Hydra Moisturizing Conditioner on top of the de-shedding conditioner. Um, and then I kind of spot treated like the really bad areas with the, um, the leave-in like mask kind of thing. It just takes like 90 seconds though to, to start working. So I thought I could use it in all the de-shedding matting spots. So I'll have to get his other side when I turn him around. But that's pretty good for now. And then I did try to, um, look at this. It's so bad. Do you see this? It's just from petting him. It's just coming off like crazy. And there's still tangles. Um, I did try to comb out the fur while it was in, the conditioner was in. And it was just catching real bad. So I'm just hoping that the, um, the blow dryer will get a lot of that out as we blow. So he does pretty good with the blow drying. I used it on him before. I think he handles it pretty okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the happy hoodie on him. I don't have like a ton of room left on my SD card because I'm still in the process of uh, making other videos. <laughs> so we'll have to make this quick, hopefully. Hi, buddy. Hi, you're such a sweet boy. What is that, huh? What is that? Let's put it on your face. Put it on your face. There we go. Okay. So if you haven't heard me say this before, this protects their ears from the forced air and also muffles the sound. So in case they're scared, they got their ears covering, which are flat. And then this thing is a good um, muffler and it's stretchy. It's a little tight, but it's stretchy. Um, and so I'm going to be able to get hopefully up in here with the blow dryer. All right, let's get started.
we're done with the blow drying. Look at this boy. He's all fluffy. He has a lot of matting still, but that's okay. Um, a lot of it's just coming right out when I brush him. I don't know if you could see from the video, but um, <laughs> there was a lot of hair flying around. He's decorated my office. The last time he was here, he decorated my room too. <laughs> and snow was going everywhere. This is from my shoulder. Um, but yeah, so I was able to pull some of the big pieces that wanted to let go off and then the other ones are, there's still some matting a little bit because like I said, the water and his fur just don't mix well and so they just kind of mat up and then the undercoat hangs on. But it's coming out, it's a lot of it is coming out here this way. So um, he did pretty good with the blow dryer. I just couldn't do, you know, his face, which is fine. He let me get behind his ears a little bit, which I was very thankful for, yes. Yes, he's such a good boy. Good boy, Finn. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to switch over and do a time lapse with the rest of the brushing cuz I got to brush his whole body and he's a big boy and he's got a lot of surface area. So we're going to continue with that and I will be back when we're all done brushing. Okay. Okay, so he's all brushed out. He even got his tail. Of course, I could keep going. Like, I could keep going for days on this guy. I think I got all the mats out. And I think that he's fully dry. Uh, not fully dry, but fully brushed out. Really try. Okay, there's, there's one in here that's bugging me. Keeps catching. Usually it's just undercoat that has gotten all matted and it just needs to be brushed out. There we go. It's still pretty wet in there, but he's mostly dry. Look at how fluffy he is. Okay, so she wanted me to trim trim the uh, hiney hair. And I'll get to that in a minute, but also she wanted me to get this, get the bib. The bib area kind of blended in so it didn't stick straight out. And also kind of cut a little groove, a short groove where his, um, what do you call it, where his collar goes. I'm sorry, I need to find my thinning shears here there. Can you look this way? That's not your mom, I promise. That's not your mom. No. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit too. So it's not so shaggy. It's a little bit wet, so. What do you think, huh? What do you think? And I'll get these, the top hairs off a little bit. Sorry, I'm out of breath. <laughs> that hair brushing, brushing a Pyrenees is a workout. Let me just tell you that right now. I've so far, I've gotten Oh, 7,800 steps out of 12,000. Um, 122 minutes of working out, I think. 30 stairs, I don't know. 115 fat burn, that's my zone right now. My heart rate is 115. Just in case you wondered, my Fitbit is keeping track. All right. workout guys let me tell you and 
Pyrenees is, Pyrenees, Pyrenee. <laughs> They're not for the faint of heart to groom, holy cow. It's like a full day process, but they gotta get these guys all um, under coat free because it's a lot. Okay, it's not a text, so we're good. That's not her either, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. Still a little bit wet back there, but that's okay, it'll dry. It'll dry. That looks pretty good. Get this side, blend it in. just good so I think I'm just gonna like and there's like kind of a ridge here where this uh, straight hair and then this hair kind of comes straight out so I'm just gonna take some thin it out a little bit so it's not so exaggerated but I want to be done and I think he wants to be done too so we're not gonna take too much longer And she just wanted this hair to kind of, it was sticking straight out. So we got that earlier, the majority of it. Right, buddy? Yeah. You're doing so good. Yes, you are. But they just kind of have this bib and I like it to be a little bit more blended in. Are you going to fall asleep on me? Mm -hmm. Are you closing your eyes for a minute? Still there, but it's a little less exaggerated. I don't know. At least it's all clean. Yeah, I can just see this like line right here. It's annoying me. But oh well. I didn't make it, it was already there. Not sure what it's from. I think it's just the way that their fur is. Can you put your head up? Mm -hmm. Gotta keep your head up. That's satisfactory. So pretty. All right, and then I'm gonna, you stand up again, buddy. Stand up, good boy, good boy. Okay, no, 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 stand up. Oh goodness gracious. We are here again, aren't we? Where you don't want to stand up for nothing. Okay, good boy. I'm gonna brush this this way, this way. Okay. Thank you, babe. This where we just blend the leg hair down. Good boy. Good boy, Finn. Stay standing, good boy, good boy, good standing. Don't sit down. Nope, 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 no, no, good boy. No, 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 uh-uh. No sitting. I gotta see what I'm doing and then you can go sit at home, I promise. Yes, you can go sit at home and see your mama. Yes, you can.
pretty good. Let's see if I can see it better this way. Shake it, shake it. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, one more thing. I'm gonna double check this hair right here. Can you put your foot this way? Good boy. Okay. All right. So I just used the buzzer. So I'm just gonna grab a little ends here. We don't want it to look like a straight line. I mean, you know, this is kind of a natural progression from where the hair falls. So. You just want to keep it looking natural and not like we, you know, cut it intentionally, <laughs> even though we did. It just looks nice and turned up. No, no, no. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, buddy. Yeah, I know. I know, sweet boy. We're almost done. I feel like this is almost quicker than last time. I think last time was five and a half hours and it's only, it's almost five and I got started around 1230. So that's four and a half hours. So we're already ahead of the game because we're we're done quicker than last time, I think. Um, so I'm gonna take my buzzer and I think the half inch or three quarters inch. This is, I think this is three quarters inch. Um, and I'm just gonna do kind of a, a groove probably about this wide um, around where his collar lays because she says that it, um, where'd it go? It really rubs up against his fur here and you think you're gonna go home, don't you? You don't mean to pretend and fake you out. I just wanna see where this collar goes. So it sits right in front of his shoulders, I think most of the time. Right in front of his shoulders. Okay, so that's gonna be the area. And I'm gonna do is pull this hair forward so that it can lay back down over top of it. There we go. This way. And then this hair will lay down on top of it and it will kind of hide it <laughs> a little bit. But she says it mats really bad and I could see that. right here on top of his shoulders. I know, yes, I know, yes. You can see it's already catching in there. Okay, you gotta hold your head up. No, 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 put your foot down. Put your, no, I know you're done with me, I know, buddy. I'm done too, yeah. Hey, we're done, we can go rest and put our feet up. How about that? Okay, hopefully this isn't too obvious. And then when this hair lays down, it'll cover, but oh well. And then the collar can just lay in this groove here without, without uh, tangling it too much. Okay. It's still a little bit damp over there. Oh, let me get all this hair. Yeah, this is where a bunch of the mats were. See if I can find it. Find my groove. I gotta find my groove. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to turn you around for that. And maybe we just sort of buzz this in so it blends. That's a little bit better. You don't ever want to shave a double coated dog, but trimming the top layer a little bit. They're not removing the top coat, which is good. They need that top coat for um, keeping cool and staying warm. So, but trimming it a little bit and blending it is, is okay. We're not removing what um, works together with the undercoat to keep him warm in the winter and cool in the summer. And it's okay to like trim their bellies and stuff. I think I may have done this last time too, I don't remember. Oh, 
Allow it all to kind of lay down and blend, but also leave that little groove there for the collar. Hopefully that's where it lays. I think so. I think that's where it is. Yes, this short hair here. And it's getting caught because it's already it's like still tingly. Eh! Sorry, buddy. I'm going to have to turn around for that. Okay, but before, before we do that, Hopefully that's better. Okay. I just want to check the hiney area again one more time. Let me see. No, no, no. You got to stand up. Stand up. Good boy. I'm going to hold his tail. I know. I know, buddy. All right. Nope. I'm just going to go over this. Same, same length. Three quarters inch, but I'm not pushing all the way down. Just to shape, shape the hiney hair. A little bit better and again we're just taking just skimming the top coat we're not removing it okay good boy you're a good boy yeah that looks pretty good what do you think guys okay That looks pretty good too. Okay, we'll do the other side. <sighs> I'll do the other side. Remove that. Can we turn you around? Sweet boy, sweet Finny Boo. I know you wanna go home. We're gonna call your mom soon, I promise. I promise. Let's turn you around though. Can you stand up one more time? Stand up, stand up. Okay, turn this way, turn this way. Okay. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, he's a good boy. Yes. Oh, I don't want to get you too excited. I don't want to get you too excited. Okay, stand up. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, we're going to find this groove um, that we made. It's all wet still in here. I hope I'm doing right. I did it last time. I did a pretty good job last time. So hopefully we can find the same groove. Is it right here? I'm just gonna go with it. Is it a match? Where did it go? Where did it go? Right here? Okay. Oh my goodness. kind of silly but they don't care because like he's got so much hair and then the the collar just kind of nestles right down in there I think right in front of his shoulder right in here so hopefully hopefully that looks okay hold on hold on, hold on. yeah there we go okay and we're gonna keep this little bib here covers okay. okay up 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 okay good boy okay what I'm gonna have to do no 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 stand up stand up good boy come back here a little bit okay let me hold your tail oh, put this down for a second hold your tail in my hand okay This is really hard to do. Holy cow. Because if I move my hand, he's gonna sit down, so. I don't bend that way. I don't bend that way, Finn. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Oh, okay. There we go. Good boy. Good boy, buddy.
No, no, no. Okay. Well, I think that's about as good as we're gonna get it. Can you stand up one more time? Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. No, no, no. Stand up. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't sit down. Don't sit down. Okay. Just check this. The inside of the legs. Any extra hair we can kind of clean up in this general area is always good because <sighs> there's just so much. There's just so stinking much of it. Oh, come on. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Good boy. Good boy. Okay. Stay standing. Stay standing. Okay. Let's do it. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I got him. I got him. He didn't sit down. He's like getting less and less cooperative with the standing back up as time goes on. So it's harder and harder to get him back up again, which I understand. He's a big guy and he's tired and his joints are probably really shot from up and down, up and down and standing for so long. I know how you feel, buddy. I know how you feel. I do. Okay, okay, let's see if I can do it just from here. Almost done. Looks pretty good. Short as I did the other side. Oh, what a good boy you are. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Oh, what a good boy, Finn. As long as I don't make you stand up anymore, right? Okay. Um, I think that was it. I think so. I think so. Oh my goodness, it's five o'clock. Right on the knot. The knot? What the heck is that? Right on the noggin and right on the dot. And so I mixed them <laughs> right on the knot. That's a new one. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I've been dealing with knots for so long. That's just on the brain. Good boy, Finn. You're so handsome. Look at you. You're so fluffy and soft. And we're still getting more hair out. Yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Are we good? Yeah. I think I was gonna shave behind the ears too. Oh goodness, there's more. Holy cow, I think it's just cause it was still wet. Is this why this is sticking out? It's because there's more matting in here. All right, guys, uh, this is the final product. He's all done. Uh, I didn't put a bandana on him because I don't think I have one that is um, big enough for him. And I don't like this ridge here, but I mean, it is what it is. It's just different hair. And this is where I cut for his, um, for his collar to go. I'll go ahead and 
Hang on, go ahead and do that right now. Let me put my, sorry guys, I didn't have my thingy on my head. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Um, his collar is just gonna go kind of right underneath in this groove here. And hopefully the hair, there we go, buddy. Hopefully the hair will cover it. There we go. It's in this nice little collar groove. There we go, good boy. We'll have to go ahead and take after pictures, but he's all done, he's all clean. Mostly deferred, trimmed up, deferred, de-shedded, you know. Trimmed up and brushed out and smells so good and we lost like a ton, a literal metric ton of hair. Um, so anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. It was a long one, it was a long day, you and I. We had a long day together, didn't we? You're so sweet though. I love these big guys. They're so sweet. All right, well, his mom's on his on her way. So, oh, okay, hold on. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Talk to you later.